Hello everyone, I'm Stella from Stella's Yarn Universe. In today's video, I'd like to introduce you to all my amigurumis, or at least most of them, from the very small ones to the bigger ones. Um, I don't really have really big ones, they're all kind of small, but um, yeah, they're between tiny and small, I'd say. So um, I'd like to show you all um, my amigurumis, whether they are um, little fruits or little animals or my dolls. So that's what this video today is about. I had actually planned on sharing my Jack Russell Terrier tutorial with you because some of you have requested an amigurumi tutorial for a Jack Russell and I love that. and. It was such a fun project for me to design. I enjoyed it a lot and I was so excited to share it with you. But last minute I changed my mind about it because there is something like a small detail that I have to change in order to be 100% happy with it. So I want to share the best version possible with you. That's why I delayed it for one week and instead I introduce you to all my armies today, so thank you so much for your patience. One of my favorite amigurumi is this, that's Angelique, the angel, and I really, really love her. She um, just I don't know, she's just so peaceful and I'm really happy with how she turned out. And I haven't published the pattern yet, although I made her now almost a year ago. So I will, I have the pattern and everything written up. I just need to, you know, design the layout for it and everything and have it tested. And for this Christmas, I will have it published. So that's Angelique our protector and guardian angel. So then let's continue with the little one. So since it's almost Halloween, let me introduce you to Gilbert the ghost. I have a little tutorial for him if you're interested. So I'll link to all the patterns and tutorials done below in the description because there are too many um, to link. <laughs> In the video here so if you open the description then you can find them also this is a free tutorial i have a free written pattern on my blog as well as a video here on youtube so good but the ghost is so happy to be coming out again for halloween <laughs> another halloween themed character is vincent the vampire he's a teenage boy who got bitten by a vampire one Halloween night, night in the early 90s, which explains his look, maybe. <laughs> and he was just out with his pals. And um, yeah, everywhere people were trick-or-treating, kids were trick-or-treating, and he just mistook the real vampire for a costume, and that's how it all happened. But thankfully he has company because he has a twin and her name is Vicky. She's just not quite as barbaric <laughs> as Vincent, so she just doesn't just bite. She prefers her to drink her blood with a straw and her favorite is O negative. <laughs> so um, these are two patterns that I have on, on my, in my Etsy shop. So I'll link to those below if you want to find out more about them. And then let's see what else do we have here. I think the first, the first ever YouTube video that I posted on this channel was this um, pumpkin cake topper tutorial. I'm not sure if I have it still. I need to check. If so, I'll link to it down below. If not, I'll link to the written pattern. I might have deleted it because I was maybe embarrassed about it. <laughs> maybe it was a little awkward. I wasn't um, really used to recording videos. 
those days, but it's kind of a nice autumn or fall decor. So, um, who do we have here? Who do we have next? Here, this is my little bunny and I have a free tutorial for him, which I'll link to below. He doesn't have a name yet, which is really sad. So if you can help me, let me know. <laughs> Comment below with a name suggestion for the little bunny. That would be lovely, thank you. Then let's move on to some food. So these little donuts I turned into earrings and I show you how you can turn them into earrings if that's something that you like doing in one of my um, video tutorials on here. So I'll link to that one in the description below. And one of my first patterns were my little fairies and now I have a new version of them. So this is Falbala and this is um, Farina I believe and I have made a new version of Falbala. I'm going to make a new version of Farina as well, but it's the same pattern anyway, just the hair is different. So this is the updated the updated version and you can find that one um, for free here on YouTube or the written pattern on my blog. And I don't have a pattern for her body because it's the same as my little Cupid. And I don't have my little Cupid here because he's hanging in the window for people outside to see. So it's the same pattern really it's just that that um, he has one arm um, at an angle to hold his um, bow and um, Falbala the fairy doesn't so that's just um, the only difference so I'll link to all the um, all the links in the first um, in part one of her tutorial because then there's one part for her hair and the little fairy ears and then the fairy wings and her skirt and yeah for the body you can just go ahead and use the little cupid tutorial or you can just go to my blog and use the written pattern i, I think i'll link to the written pattern because there you can find all the video tutorials you need to make her if you prefer crocheting with a video so, these are my fairies. Now, who do we have next? My little cats. I love cats, so I had to make some at one point. And these are little sitting cats. And thank you, by the way, for all your lovely name suggest suggestions. I just saw one. Um, Suggestion said Bob, and I love that Bob is a great name for a cat. Um, honestly, I can't remember the names. There were so many um, cute, oops, cute suggestions on here and over on Instagram. I need to look through them. I can't. I, um, I picked some of them, but I can't remember which ones. <laughs> anyway, these are my two little cats, and I can't wait because I have never made a dog and. Now Finally, did I can't wait to share um, my little dog with you next week. So that's them. Now maybe some food. I have my pears here. So there's a free tutorial for those, and also my lemon, uh, half a lemon and <laughs> full one, and I also have apples. I just don't have them here for some reason, but uh, I'll link to all of them in the description if you're interested. Also, Steve the Strawberry. So I have a free tutorial on my blog for Steve and also on Ribbler. If you haven't heard about Ribbler, definitely check it out. Go to ribbler.com and have a look. It's a really cool new um, crafting platform 
which is great for designers as well as um, um, as well as crafters. It's really interactive and it's just um, it's just something different. You haven't seen anything like that before. It's really great. So I have a few patterns on there already. Steve the strawberry is one of them. <laughs> then let's see. Who else do we have here? We have one, another one of my earliest patterns, with, which is Fiona the Flamingo. <laughs> That's her. And um, the pattern I have on Etsy. And there's a Christmas bauble in side and it's a um eight eight centimeter it's it measures eight centimeters in diameter but alternatively you can fill Fiona with lots of fiber fill and this way she also becomes a Christmas ornament or just um funny um flamingo that you can hang in your home to spread some cheer but all year round, not just for Christmas. <laughs> then let's see, who do we have next? Here we have Sam the Sailor. So he's a sailor boy, as you can see. And he, um, he has a very interesting story because he is now a merman. And I haven't even showed you the um the final version of him because it's been almost a year now that he's been living in the sea and let me tell you why because once when he was out at sea he met this beauty Mara the mermaid and he was just struck by little Cupid's arrow who is hanging in my window now um, so I can't show you but that's what happened to him and so Lucky for, luckily for him, Maura felt the same and they just fell in love. And then one New Year's Eve night, he wished to become a merman and his wish became true. So lucky Sam gets to live with his love Maura together now. And since he has transformed a lot. So at first he just became this little... <laughs> Mer boy, I should say, <laughs> but since he's been living in the ocean for quite a while now, he has transformed, and you won't recognize him i'll I'll show you soon if you're interested in all these little stories of my dolls. You can check out my Instagram page um which is at Stellas Young Universe, so that's where I share all the stories about my dolls. And oh, Mara also has a very best friend. They are actually sisters this close. They are, they are just the best, the best of friends. And that's Marina. So these are my mermaids and the patterns for those and for Sam the Sailor are on, um, are in my Etsy shop. Let's show you Kiki the cow. So this is Kiki the cow and she's very naughty and sometimes she thinks that she's a dog, like she's very playful. <laughs> I really love making farm animals. In the, begin in, in the beginning of the year when I asked you what you wanted me to make, many of you said farm animals, so um, that's what I did and I'll add many more as well. So the other one that I made recently is this little sheep and she doesn't have a name yet, he or she, so if you want to help me with that, that would be great. They are almost the same size, so I recommend if you want them to match size-wise, make Kiki the cow with a 3.5mm uh, hook, which is a size E4, and the sheep just use whatever I used. Um, I used a 2.5 for the face and the legs and then for the fluffy part 
I used the 3.5 um, that's just much easier with the fluffy yarn which I combined with the um, cotton yarn because it's very difficult to just um, crochet the fluffy yarn on its own so but as a result they um, it turned out quite big so if you want to, um, to make them for a little person to play together with and the cow is a little small now just make kiki with them um, worsted weight yarn or um, aran weight aran yarn and a 3.5 millimeter e4 hook then it should be all good and they should match in size so that's them too and another farm animal is rudy the rooster so Rudy seems to be very pop popular because many of you have shared your Rudy the Rooster creations with me on Instagram and that makes me so happy. So if you haven't made him yet, I'll link to his tutorial below as well as Kiki the cow and the little sheep. So I have video tutorials for all of them. By the way, if you want to make a hen as well then you can use the same pattern you just um, you just don't make the tail feathers here and you can make her in white or brown um, it's the same just just simpler and you can make her a bit smaller as well if you like so let me know if you ever need any help with that or if you prefer me to make a, an extra tutorial for a hen let me know let me know in the comments below. I'd love to do that if that would be helpful. So let's see. We may be halfway through. I'm not sure, but I just show you my second or uh, another one of my favorite. They are in no particular order <laughs> because I love them all. So this is Tilda the Toadstool and she's already her cap isn't even red anymore because I had her sit in the window all summer to smile at the people out there. And yeah, she's another of my favorites. I just love her because I love autumn and I love toadstools and she's just so smiley and spreads good vibes. So I have a pattern for her in my shops as well, so I'll link to those below. Also Tilda is very good friends with my fairies, so they are besties. Now let's see, who else do we have? We have my little Wichtel gang, so Wichtel. Um, Wichtel are little gnomes in German. So this is my Wichtel girl, my gnome girl. And here we have Norbert the gnome. And I have a bigger version in my tutorial um, because I have a video tutorial for him as well as a free written pattern on my blog. And there I made a bigger version of him, but I gave all of the bigger Norbert's away because everybody loved them so much and I just wanted everyone to have one of them so one I give to my dear friend and another one to my auntie so the Norbert's are spread all around the world now so this is this is Gunhild by the way Gunhild the gnome girl and this is Norbert the gnome and then we also have Eli the elf so I have pattern, patterns for them on my blog. Those are free patterns. So I'll link to them below as well if you want to make some gnomes and elves. As you can see, I turned them into ornaments. But you can also set them somewhere if you like. <laughs> I really love gnomes. So let me introduce you to the next doll and this is Ophelia and Ophelia is very fortunate because she just recently moved from the busy city to 
a small village near the enchanted forest and now she gets to see all the magical things that happen there and she became friend with my other favorite who I'll show you in the end of this video and she has a cute little hat that you can remove so she's one of the dolls that has removable removable clothing and then she has a little skirt that can be removed and her little apron can be removed as well but I'll keep that on now <laughs> so that's Ophelia And Ophelia has an older brother whose name is Oliver. So this is Oliver and he's especially thrilled to be living near the Enchanted Forest now. The things he gets to see are just insane. And he has a hat that can be removed, but this is only for adults or older children because this little magnet is dangerous dangerous just a little re disclaimer there but you can also sew his head on to secure it or you could attach some velcro you can could glue it on and attach some velcro to his hair and this way it would be removable but safe for little ones so the pageants for these two you can also find in my Etsy shop. Also, by the way, you can always, um, if they are for really little ones, you can always um, replace the safety eyes by embroidering, embroidering them. But usually I just give them safety eyes because they are not really cuddly dolls anyway. They are more for older kids to, to play with or for super old kids like me. <laughs> so, Let's see. Oh, we have something very big and friendly. So if you have a friend who's, uh, who wants to get started with amigurumi but wants to start with something that's really easy, then maybe send them the tutorial for this little chubby chick. That's really cute and it's so easy to make. So I'll link to that as well. Then, oh, we have another doll here which is Larry the Leprechaun. So, as you can imagine, he's always up to mischief. And he has a jacket that can be removed. So when he does some gardening or whatever he's up to or collecting collecting dandelion leaves for his tea then um, he might get warm and take off his jacket and his hat is also removable but you know he never leaves the house without his hat <laughs> but anyway that's Larry and the pattern for him can be found in my Etsy shop. So then we have a fun free pattern for my two pencil toppers. One is a unicorn and one is a dragon. So they might encourage some little ones to do their homework or distract them from it. I'm not sure. If you made them tell me, <laughs> tell me in which way they were, which effect they have. <laughs> so um, I'll link to the tutorial for these two. And then let's see, let's see. Another fruit, pineapple. And another really summery one, an ice cream cone. So these two are tutorials here on YouTube. And then we have 
Bernard the blackbird. I really, really love birds, so I can't get enough of them. So in my tutorial, I made Blanche, um, and that suggestion comes from one of you lovely people who commented on my blog. Um, just so you can see what I'm doing because black yarn is really hard to see. So yeah, that's a three part tutorial. And I'll link to part one in the description below if you want to make a little bird. Also some um, lovely people have um, emailed me that they use this pattern to make other birds like uh, robins or um, any cute little birds and that just makes me so happy so you can adapt it um, in whichever way you like I also have Paul the pigeon who's a little bigger and I'm really excited about sharing his pattern I haven't uh, done that yet but <laughs> I will soon I hope so that's been laying around for ages and I just haven't had the or did make time to um, put his pattern together so that it can be tested and published so I should really do that because he's really cute I think so then who do we have next oh we have some pomegranates I really love pomegranates and they kind of represent autumn and winter to me and my husband is Persian, so we celebrate Yalda, with, which is the shortest night of the year. And that's when you eat lots of pomegranates. And I use these two for decoration. And then afterwards I hang them in the Christmas tree. So they serve multiple purposes. So, let's see, I think we're already at the end, almost, almost here. We have another leprechaun, but a little one. And this one had the honor of being featured in a crochet magazine. So that's really great. Um, it's not available anymore, <laughs> I'm afraid, that issue. But you can find the free pattern on, um, yeah, I think here, here on YouTube and on my blog. So I'll link to that one below. And now it's time for my other favorite doll. Actually, there are a few left, but they are all related to her. So I kind of, um, she's not gonna be the last one I show you, so. So this is Maya the Healer. And she has a hat that you can take on and off. So she has a lovely pointy hat and you can just put that on and pull a few of her hair, a few of her hairs through and then pull these ends and tie them together under her hair in her neck and Maya is the one I was talking about who's friends with Ophelia and Oliver because she's been living in the enchanted forest for a very long time I mean she's quite young but <laughs> she's lived there for her entire life so she was really happy when Ophelia and Oliver came to live there as well because now she can show them all the magic of the enchanted forest and she also has a little basket and her cape can be removed and also her apron and her skirt and I also have an add-on pattern and with that one you can either make her a winter outfit or you can make another version of her and this one is her sister Mallory and she even has a little Christmas hat 
she's working for Santa, you know. So, Maya lives, lives very far north. She probably lives in Sweden because her name is Swedish. <laughs> and so her sister doesn't live too far from it. It's still quite a bit, but, you know, she can visit by reindeer sleigh. And most of the year she's not working, so that's really good. She gets to hang out with her sister in the enchanted forest. And yeah, with this add-on pattern, you can make a wintry outfit for Mia or just make a melorine. And her head is the same, so you can attach, firmly attach that so it doesn't fall off. And yeah, so melorine is based on Mia, and then we have someone else who I really like because this is Octavia the Owl and that's Maya's best friend in the world. Even she's an even better friend than any humans. So <laughs> Octavia is always around. Like because Maya gets up really early when Octavia is still awake and that's when they spend time together because then she follows her through the forest and sometimes Maya is also up late when it's already dark especially now in autumn and in the winter and then she just takes some walks with Octavia and they just they just spend some time together also Maya has some mushrooms for her basket now it's full of pine needles but usually she also collects mushrooms <laughs> and then of course Melorine also loves owls and so Melorine's friend is a snowy owl whose name is Sage so she she goes wherever wherever Melorine goes so when she's Working at the North Pole, she's there, but if she goes to visit Mia, then she joins her, of course. And so with the pattern for Mia, you have Octavia the Owl included, but if you only want the pattern for Octavia, I have that separately as well. For those who just love owls as much as I do and want to just make Octavia, I have that as well. But if you have the Mia pattern, you can make Mia, Octavia, and sage is included in the Octavia pattern, so you can make both of these. They're very similar. There's only some uh, little differences that I explain in the pattern. And then the pattern for the winter or Christmas outfit is an add-on pattern. So I'll explain more on that in the description. And then we have another very new character who's also based on Maya's pattern so Maya's pattern is very versatile <laughs> and that's Sophia and Sophia is a very powerful sorceress and I can't reveal too much about her because I haven't um, I haven't shared too much on my Instagram yet and I don't want to spoil anything so if you want to follow me on there to find out more about Sophia then you can definitely do that and the only difference I used the exact same Maya pattern but because I used different yarn and probably my tension was tighter her her hair got nice and wavy or curly and I really like that about her so but um, yeah if you want straighter hair try to reduce the tension and if you want curlier hair increase the tension and you will get a little more curly hair like Sophia's and Sophia also has a feathery friend of course and this is Razvan Raz Razvan the raven and this is her loyal companion so I haven't um, shared the pattern for Razvan yet but but I hopefully will soon as soon as I put it together and have it tested I'll share it on my social media 
and yeah the only di other difference is with the Maya pattern you can definitely make her um, using the Maya pattern but um, she has a long cloak so I will add that to the Maya pattern soon so that you can either make the little cape or the big cloak so then you can make all of these um, just if you want the winter outfit you can get the little add-on so a link to the Maya pattern below as well and to the separate Octavia and Sage the Owls pattern and that's it that's that's my whole Amigurumi collection or almost all of them some of them are hanging um, in the windows for people to see outside but I showed you most of them and I hope it will just grow and grow it's just so much joy crocheting all of these characters and the little animals and especially um, if you suggested them then I'm especially excited about that so um, keep the suggestions coming for free patterns that you would like to see here on YouTube and um, yeah my dolls are more kind of what pops in my head and um, the characters that I need to um, you know to let to let my to let the stories evolve so if you're interested in those again you can follow me on Instagram to learn more about their stories so all of this is just thanks to you because you are interested in Amigurumi and that's just I'm just so thankful for that because it's just so much joy create um, sharing my creations with you and to have people recreate them and especially when you share them with me it's just so so it just makes me so so happy so thank you so so much for that and thank you so much for your patience with my next little tutorial can't wait to share that with you let me give you a little sneak peek here that's that's his head but without ears so with with ears the cuteness factor will of course be bigger <laughs> so just a little sneak peek there so that's coming your way next Sunday so thank you so so much for watching and thank you for all your support um, if you like my Amigurumi collection then feel free to like this video and also consider subscribing so you won't miss any of my future Amigurumi tutorials. So on here I share mostly animals like Rudy the rooster and um, you know small projects that can fit into a video. So yeah if that's what you're interested in definitely subscribe and turn on notifications. Thank you so so much. <laughs> Bye. See you soon.